after my mighty rest, you curd. You fool! Behold! I come to seek justice and prosperity for the land of Soyotopia! You cannot defeat me, fool. I am immortal. I suppose thee wouldn't be able to equate to the cell theory. The cell what? The cell theory. Have thee never heard of it? No. Hmm. I am illiterate. Well, that's... that's quite unfortunate. <coughs> Silence your laughter, fool, and give me an in-depth analysis of cell theory or die. Fine, beast. But you must destroy yourself. Deal. Very well. Once there were three men. Matthias Schleiden, Theodore Schwann, and Rudolf Verkau that thought they did something by devising what we know as the Cell Theory. A theory which holds three strict laws. First, all living things must be made of cells. Second, all cells are the basic units of life. And third, all new cells are made from old cells. And thus, the- th So I'm made of cells? Well, I don't know. Thee said thee wasn't immortal. Only living things can have cells. But- Continuing! Not only can cells make up every living thing, but they can also multiply in processes known as mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis results in two identical daughter cells from one parent cell. These daughter cells have the same number and kind of chromosomes, DNA, of the parent nucleus, the center of each cell. There is also a process called interphase that comes before mitosis and meiosis. Tell me, peasant, of this meiosis. Well, beastie, meiosis is generally mitosis, but with double the contents of the parent cell in mitosis. This way, four identical cells are the result. In interphase, DNA is replicated and energy needed for cell division is processed. In prophase, the DNA coils up, the spindle fibers form, and centrioles, ends of spindle fibers, move to the opposite sides of the cell. In metaphase, the spindle fibers bend to centromeres, the center of chromosomes, and chromatids, parts of chromosomes, line up at the cell's equator. In anaphase, the chromatids, the parts of the chromosomes, are split and pulled to the opposite sides of the cell by the spindle fibers. In telophase, chromosomes reach the end of the cell, the spindle fibers disappear, and cytokinesis is underway. Finally, in cytokinesis, the cells are split apart. Yay! I know everything now! I can die happily. Hold your horses, scaly one. I have not even begun to inform thee upon the matter of cyclones.